Hey guys, how's it going? Hopefully I don't have chips in my teeth. Um, it's about to storm here. We're in a tornado watch currently, but a lot of places around our area got a lot of rain last night, like seven inches or more. Here we didn't get a whole lot, so everything's looking pretty good fishing wise, but yeah, I want to try to catch a few fish before the storm hits in about an hour. You can see the clouds. They're pretty scary looking. So yeah, stay tuned. See if I can catch some bass fish real quick. Oh. You hold that tight. Mm -hmm. oh, he couldn't get away. He's gonna be stuck there. We're probably tired, but okay. There he goes. Josh went to see if that tube was flown with water. Found a little turtle with the hook and line stuck in his mouth and saved the little guy. So nice of him. Yeah, this place is really good for bass. Largemouth bass. A lot cooler today. Um, it was like 85 yesterday, but it's like 70 right now, which is nice. I'm definitely a little bit freaked out about the tornadoes we've been having lately. Since we're in a watch, you know, there's always that potential, but hopefully we don't have a tornado today. <laughs> Our nine-year-old is like deathly afraid of tornadoes now. So every time it storms, she's like, is there going to be a tornado? We're like, no, it's just rain. We'll just uh, try not to tell her too much. <laughs> And freak her out. I'm gonna keep moving around the perimeters here. No bites yet, but I'm using a little baby whale. Oh, 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 oh. Just moss. Definitely hit like a fish would though. <laughs> Felt like one. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. It's moving. It's not a rock. Oh, yeah. I got one. Oh, I got a bass fish. First bass fish of the year. We just call them bass fish. They're largemouth bass. <laughs> Yay. That's so exciting. A little chubby guy. Little chub. Ooh, the water's really warm. Later, bud. Go that way. Yep. <laughs> Yay, I thought that was a rock. <sighs> it's the kind of rock I like. Bass fish rock. Josh laughed at me when I said I wanted to go fishing here today. He was like, where do you want to go? I'm like, let's go to this. Catch some bass fish. He's like, ah. You're serious, right? Yeah, no, I'm serious. All right, let's do some walking around. Getting windy. Oh, I saw something right there. Oh, there's another one. This 
is a great spot right here for fish, but it just can't get caught in the branches. And there's fishing line galore over here. Yeah, I definitely need to tighten my drag. Whoops. Totally forgot about that. It was way too loose. It worked though. I thought I hooked a rock and having it a little more loose probably gave him some leeway to get out of the rocks. If he was caught up in the rocks. Okay. We're gonna keep going. I'm gonna take a little potty break. Can use the lovely restrooms that are provided here. Make sure there's no folks in here. Jeez Louise. Oh. That's nasty. There's definitely some tornado shit going on over there. You see that cloud right there? That's sketchy. Yeah, right there and right there. We should probably hide in the truck for a moment. Hide in the truck for a second. Continue this another day. I don't know if I want to sit here through this. Yep, getting windy. All right, a little more sun today, a little less stormy. So I'm going to try to see if I can catch some more fish today. It looks really freaking nice. I mean, it's like 70 degrees. Sunny, beautiful. I can't ask for anything better. So, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna use the 6.6 medium light stash stick. Stash stick. And then I'm gonna put on one of these one of these. You know, I'm not the most prepared. Uh, I got these from the gas station down the road, so sorry six cents. That's embarrassing, but that's what I'm going to use today. Yesterday I caught the bass on just a baby whale right over on the rocks, but with this warmer weather and the fish sitting on the rocks. I, I mean, I've seen some weeds too, so I'm gonna use a just a worm. I'll do like a wacky rig worm. See if that gets them fired up. Doesn't say what inches these are, but I'm gonna guess about four. Anyways, um, that's, that's the juice right there. Put on my waterland sunglasses. This will help me see the fish on the rocks and cut out the glare of the sun off the water, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any, oh, what the heck is that? Can that be a snake? I'm not gonna lie, sometimes setting up all of my, my recording stuff is a little embarrassing. They're like, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you recording yourself fishing? Just enjoy yourself. I'm like, well, now I'm just here to share my experience with other people, okay? So, yep. Still awkward, but, you know, here we are. If I catch something, I want you guys to see it. Because it's cool.
As I'm going over the bridge, I spot a bass right there. Let me know if you see it. Oh my god, that's huge. Try not to screw it up here. Ooh. I'm gonna screw it up. It's right there. Oh, there's a bunch right there. Seriously, there's a huge bass right up there. 